Yo, we are back with another video, man. We are taking on Georgia State. We are number one in the country, sitting at 4 0. And this is Kareem's junior season, more than likely, this will be his last season. I think it's this vid this episode, and probably one more episode. It's probably gonna finish off this episode, man. And I'm gonna try to finish. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna try to finish, I will finish that tight end. You know, it's not an RTG. I will finish that series, and I think y'all are really rocking with that, you know, last video I dropped as far as combining a lot of greatest college position into one player. I believe y'all feeling that, so y'all let me know on that. But we are rocking and rolling against Georgia State. We end up taking that dub, man. On to game number two. We are dropped to number two in the country, and I looked, and we are right behind Utah. As we end up tying this ball game up, man, you cannot hold. You only hope to contain this dude as we are losing to Arizona 14 to 7. But, you know, you put the rock in this dude's hands, he going to do it what he does best, and that's fine. He just got a nose for the end zone. And that's what a lot of NFL scouts are like about this kid, man. Run, catching, juking, nice size for a running back. You know, not a lot of tread on the tires. That's what a lot of NFL scouts love about this kid. Bro, and they doing everything they can to take the dub away from us, man. We got two turnovers. We are down by seven with one minute remaining in the first half. Get what we can, and we try to get out of bounds, but that's okay. Jump into the fourth quarter. We up by three. We need to put a statement on this game, bro. We need to score right here. And who but else to get a rock to? Let's go. As we end up taking that one, man. We are 6 0. Still number two in the country. We are going against Tal Cal, who's sitting at 6 and 2, number 121 in the nation. Bro, correct me if I'm wrong, but they haven't really done nothing since like the Marshall Lynch, Deshaun Jackson days, bro. They've been horrible for a long time. And right here, he just displaying his speed, bro. That's all it is. That's all it really is. This dude is just turning on the damn Jets. 95-yard touchdown run, the longest of his career. First and 10, and that little hesitation cost us. That could have been a lot more yardage than more than 16 yards. We take the screen pass. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Bro, this dude, no way, no way, no Harold, bro, you love to see it, bro. Definitely love to see it. As y'all see here, I accidentally skipped this play, but he ended up, the CPE ended up scoring an 80-yard touchdown run, and we get another touchdown run to add on top of that one. So we are just running away with this game. I don't know what it is, but I'm taking notes that these teams, they give us hell. They give us a run for our money in the first and second quarter. But after that, the defense just clamps up, the offense just steps up and make plays, and we out here breaking school records. That record stood for a long time since 1950. That is crazy. This is absolutely his best game ever. And that game right there got a lot of NFL scouts buzzing about this kid. You know, the, the NFL is not what it used to be, bro. You got to do more than just run. You feel me? Especially if you was running back. The running back market, they the most they the position that takes the worst hits, bro. And they don't want to pay these running backs. So that's why this kid here is more than just a running back. I preach that. I'll talk about that in every other video. He can run. You can line this kid up at receiver. And that's what a lot of NFL scouts are drooling over about this kid. Line him on the backfield. Line him out wide. Gets a safety. Hell, even a cornerback. Hell, linebackers. It don't matter. He's going to continue to be a playmaker, offensive weapon. Whoever gets this kid at the next level. But we ended up winning the when they get that game last game. We are taking on Arizona State. As y'all can see, we down by three. But that is no longer the case as Kareem finds the end zone. We down by three. Like these teams just they just won't go away. This dude is strung off his strength, shugging off that defensive tackle. You know, picking up a first down, third and two. He just showing off the speed, showing off the power, showing off the vision as we pick up 17. We up by four, third and eight. Great play call. He breaking dude's ankles, bro. That pick up a 14 and bro, right here. 
turn out the lights. You are not catching this kid, bro. I'm sorry to tell you that. We up by three. And that run right there will seal the deal as we end up taking away the game. Now, Utah, number one versus number two. They coming in. I don't see how they rank number one. Y'all let me know. I don't see how. But they got a good defensive line, bro. Definitely a good defensive line. Defensive front that Kareem going to have to deal with. Linebackers, they, they all right. Besides Reed, he pretty just straight. Besides that one cornerback, I feel like we got a good chance, good chance against this team. As long as we continue to do what we do, we good. Closing in on, on 1,500 rushing yards for the season. Closing in on the school records for a career. We closing in on a couple records, but they got to deal with the number one running back in the country. The number one running back in the NFL draft. Let's get to it. But y'all can see a lot of NFL scouts are in attendance because this kid has been buzzing. This kid has been on absolute fire, a damn tear the last couple games. So the NFL want to see what the buzz is about this kid. It's your boy Rome out here making one-handed catches first and 10. You know how teams turn up when they facing that rivalry or a high-ranked opponent. You, like the whole team is just turned. They just ready to go. And this boy Kareem is definitely going to set the tone as he breaks the scoreless tie. You know, finding the end zone right here, bro. Just get the hell off me, dude. This screen picks up 10 seconds and 10 up the middle, bro. We not juking this game. We going run your ass straight over. He picks up 14 seconds and one. Bro, find the end zone. Let's go. Like 14 and three, bro. We had a call for that. Yes, sir. No, no. We just got two string tackle. Literally green grass in front of us. Nothing but green grass. Oh, yes, sir. Turn on the Jets. Juke him. Let's go. Pick up a 27 on a play. Down by one. Second and 10. That's what I say, bro. Like, sometimes he don't follow the script as far as running the routes. That's why I say he make up his own routes. But as long as he you know, do what he do, bro, coaches can't complain about it. Right here, we just, you can't teach that, bro. Definitely can't teach that second and three, and then boy out here throwing dots as we take the lead. We up by five third quarter, first and ten. Up the middle, let's go. First and goal. Let's cap off the drive with a touchdown, baby. Let's go. First and ten. Nice catch out of the backfield. Let's go. Let's go, boy. Let's go. First and ten. Break one tackle. We off to the races. We off to the races. We off to the damn races, bro. Did y'all see that stiff arm, baby? Let's go ahead and put this game away, baby. Let's go. Another great game. Let's see what the NFL scouts have to say about when they see this kid after this game. Let's check it out. Now, here we are, man. First and second rounder. You, you, you can't go bad with that. Definitely can't go bad with that. So what? But whoever get this kid... They, they gonna get the, the best person in the draft. You feel me? So wherever he falls at, he gonna be good. The Ravens, Miami, and Buffalo. Needs to work on simple concentration drops. Fights for every single inch as a runner. Avoids the big hit following catches. Excels at creating yards after catch. Let me know what y'all think. Where he gonna go. What team y'all gonna draft him. What this team should have drafted him, man. But it's your boy, Sarah 8. And I'm gone.